talking helps. It helps, really. Tell your parents first and tell them to like, take you to a psychologist because you need, cause everyone needs someone to talk to, but a stranger might help, help you in the end. I think we need to take depression very, very seriously because, I mean, it could lead to suicide. You just go to people and inform them and let them know that there is such a thing. We definitely need to raise awareness and educate people across all boards, all ages, about what it is. It's important to have an outlet of some sort to sort of maybe channel your focus elsewhere if it means doing more of what you're passionate about, what you enjoy doing. People need to stop generalizing. Um, it is said that social media makes us depressed and because we like other people's things, yeah, and that's ridiculous. People just need to start looking at mental health as something that is serious and um, that we need to tackle collectively as a community. There needs to be more accessible help in university in particular and even starting in high school because I feel like a lot of people don't know how young it can start. If you start exposing more, more information about that and, and introduce that into pop culture somehow because pop culture is huge but at the same time depression and suicide within that pop culture are unbelievable. So the stats are ridiculous. There could be a campaign around this where like the Me Too movement or the you know that these accomplished individuals share just a little bit about their experience and how they've had to deal with it. That could help guys like me, guys younger than me, and people who are facing similar issues. I really think it needs some airtime on television so that people can get to know what is depression really, because people underestimate what depression is. I think black people just need to change um, the way they look at it and need to realize that it's actually something that's real. For someone from a depressed point of view, I think they could really just separate themselves from um, social media. You need people around you, you need support, you need that pillar that's gonna keep you going. And that's how you're gonna survive. When people talk about depression, we need to be more comfortable about talking about it and also just to be more aware of what it is but essentially we need to know what depression is and be able to have like the symptoms of it in order for you to say you have depression yeah just talk about it because talking about it sometimes does help um, with depression I'd like to see that change I'd like to see more people growing aware of the condition and being able to take care of their loved ones and their friends who have you know um, suffered from depression amongst like black people especially I feel like they should pay more attention to because like the parents, like black parents or black people usually think they're like, oh no, this ain't it, or what do you mean depression, there's no such thing. They, they don't think it exists. So yeah. They, they think it's something else or they just don't want to see it. Yeah. It's like they don't want to deal with it. Like it's almost like they don't want to deal with it at all. They're just like, oh no, Or they Or this? they are going to say, oh yeah, well everybody has depression, everybody gets sad sometimes, but it's not the same but thing. It's not the same. Just accept life as it is and do whatever it takes for you to get the necessary help because you may find yourself in a situation that, you know, you may not come out of. There are things that you can do to help yourself. That's not to say that if you, it's your choices that led you down this road, but there are things that you can do to help yourself and there are people that can help you if you let them making people more aware and educating everyone, I think. I know my gran used to be like, look, don't be depressed. I'll be like, okay, thanks. I guess I won't be now. But yeah, so definitely educate and make people aware. Psychology shouldn't be a subject that is isolated for people at this point to start I think that should be introduced maybe in primary for anyone to, to grow up doing it, like understanding the power of his or her mind. And I believe if we could do that, a lot of there's a lot of impact it would bring to society because we make stupid decisions because we don't really, really know how to use our mind. There need to be a lot more people 
being open about their own mental illnesses, struggles, whatever, challenges. So I, I actively do that because like, I'm comfortable not talking about it because I'm comfortable myself with it, but I know that from the outside that would be unfortunately enabling the stigma. So I make a conscious effort to be open about that I take medication, like I take antipsychotics and mood stabilizers and antidepressant and anti-anxiety. If you are a person struggling with depression or, or anxiety, just have courage to like go out there and just love as much as you can and like have that like home in, your, in yourself that you know it's a safe space and you can, you can just be free in that. And if you go out and you just do whatever you need to do to make the world a better place, just do it and it'll come back.